Stop 33 on the Casual GTX Cup Series Racing Series. Takes us to Atlanta Motor Speedway for the na 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 no how 500. <laughs> on the pole, Rob McCabe alongside of him, Colin Cropley in the 20 car, row 2. Dalton Day and Derek Walker, row 3. Dylan Petit and Matthew Rodriguez, row 4. Is Dunn Laprid and Andrew Baranda. Duh, so. Green flag waves, and what a start by Rob McCabe. The 22 car, he takes, he takes the top spot. Colin Cropley caught up high. And here comes the 17 of Dalton Day. He bravely takes second, but here comes 31 of Dylan Petit. Remember, 95 points out of first place. He needs a good run. He needs problems of, Ken, of Kendrick Walker. That's Dylan's only way of winning this championship right now with four races remaining in the series. Three, when, three after this race. <coughs> He's in a good spot right now. He's running second right now. There's Dunn Lapper in the 16 car. Rob McCabe continues on top. And look at this. Field of cars, they come down through the, out of the second turn now. Oh, I don't feel too good about this one right here. Oh, five wide and oh, Matthew Rodriguez gets in the wall, he's crashed. Several cars into it. Ken Johnson's in it. Matthew Rodriguez. Several cars, I think, looks like are okay. What about Kendrick Walker in the five? He was in the back. Must be confusion as to who's leading this race there. And Kendrick Walker, yes, he did get through the he did get through that wreck. Boy, everybody's slowing down. What's going on here? Boy. Okay, pace car's picking up the leader. Okay, there's obviously confusion as to what happened. Well, we're gonna find out what happened that caused the wreck. They were five wide through three and four, and that does not work at Atlanta. No siree. And it all started with Matthew Rodriguez in the 29 car. <coughs> Watch this, he's five ways on the outside of Trevor Reinhardt. Slow mo slow motion right here. Trevor Reinhardt, Jacob Rodriguez, CJ Sorensen, Robbie Boggus. And Matthew gets hit by Trevor, and oh, Ken Johnson, he gets he has nowhere to go. <clears throat> Josh Osborne go, gets turned, he gets turned in the grass, but no damage to his car. Johnny Gardner, Daytona 500 winner, he gets through it. Shows you how quick things can occur in Atlanta. John Douglas barely gets barely got through that crash too in the 25 car. So there's the running order right now. Kendrick Walker made it through that crash, unfortunately for Dylan Petit. Lights and the pace car are out. So Dylan's running second. Kendrick is up to 12th right now in the race. That was huge, avoiding that wreck. Out of the fourth turn right now, here they come. Rob McCabe gets another good jump on Dylan Petit as the green flag waves on lap number eight. Nine laps remaining in this 17 lap marathon. That is the Napa Know How 500. Here comes Dunn Laprid into the 16. He's going for second. And Trey Campbell goes for the same way on the 26th. Or Derek Walker. There they are. 
DuPont 24 versus Quaker State 26. And the three car of Fred Christopher thrown in the booth, the black number three. Want to know what it looks like when you had the black number three down your... Want to know what it looks like when it looks like they had the black number three on your back bumper? That's it from Trey Campbell's view right there. It's the last thing you want to see, the black number three right on your bumper. Trey Campbell turning on the inside of Dunn Laprid in a 16 car to Greg Biffle car. Here comes Trey to the inside. He's won that second spot. And now he's got his sight set. So, and he'll, then he'll have his sight set on the 22 of Rob McCabe. Who's been strong all day. But Dunn Laprin's keeping that second spot. Though Dunn's saying, Nuh-uh, Trey, you're going to have to get by me the hard way. <laughs> 200 miles an hour around this track. Unbelievable. In fact, the pole speed was way over to 211 miles an hour was the pole speed for this race. Unreal. Here comes Dunn Lappard to the inside of Rob McCabe. The 16 car trying the inside lane. 24 goes up high. Hoping for some straight, more straightaway speed, but he's going to fall in the clutches now of the 4 car of Adam Chambers. And boy, Adam's like a shot out of a cannon right down on the 24 car. Now all of a sudden we have a 4 car battle for the lead, maybe for the win. Here in the Napa Know How 500, Rob McCabe still holds that top spot down the back stretch. Out of turn four. This time by will be, will be four laps to go. Out of turn two. Chambers falling back just a little bit in that four car. Here comes Trey Campbell again on the 24. He's one name. He's got the inside on Dunn Labyrinth. Now he's got the spot taken. Three to go. Now he's got a sight set on the 22 of Rob McCabe. But here comes Adam Chambers on the inside. Chambers went with Trey Campbell. Removed Chambers in the third. And now this is maybe a three car battle for the win here. We may throw more. We may throw, we may throw in more before this race is over. Two laps to go. Rob McCabe holding on to that lead. Trey Campbell right behind him in the 24 car. He hasn't missed a step yet. He's on the inside. He tries the inside lane. This may be for the lead. Adam Chambers, he's going to try to make it three wide for the lead. Coming in the line. Coming in the line. White flag for Trey Campbell. Adam Chambers, who will it be here in Atlanta? This could be one of those side-by-side -side Atlanta finishes here. We may see Labonte and Earnhardt, Gordon and Harvick, Johnson and Edwards. Who will it be in Atlanta? Adam Chambers side-by-side -side with Rob McCabe. Chambers closing in on Trey Campbell. Here they come to the line. Chambers making a charge to the line. And, the, and coming to the line, Trey Campbell wins the Napa Know How 500. First for the Jeff Gordon car. Adam Chambers, a hard-fought second best run, almost stole that race away from Trey Campbell. Wow. What a finish. There's a look at the winning car. Here. Trey Campbell wins it. Adam Chambers finishes second. Dunn Lappard third. Rob McCabe fourth. De uh, Dalton Day finishes fifth. Then Richard Anderson. Andrew Baranda, Kendrick Walker, 8th. That's not good news for Dylan Petit, who finishes 10th. Robbie Boggess, by the way, finishes 9th. And there's the final... There's the rest of the finishing order right there. Hard day for several drivers here. 
Colin Copley continues struggling, struggle here. Matthew Rodriguez, only car out of the race and dead last. Hard day for the 29 team. But for the first time, the Jeff Gordon car, the victory lane, that car looks sharp in the winner's circle, doesn't it? Trey Campbell holds on to win the Atlanta. Boy, did he. And there's your standings for the with three races remaining on the, on the series. Kendrick Walker now with a 103-point lead over Dylan Petit. Richard Anderson, Adam Chambers, Aaron Reed, John Douglas, J Johnny Gardner, Fred Christopher, Nick Knotson, C.J. Sorensen, the top 10 in the points. And here's the rest of the here's the rest of the points right there. Alexander Dawson dead last right now in the points. So, so next race on the tour will be the sub. So next race on the tour will be the Subway Fresh Fit 500 from Phoenix, Arizona. Don't you miss it.